check of that WTOL 11 weather forecast. There are some big changes in the weather coming our way as a cold front drops those temperatures down to the 50s this evening. After a summery week of weather, it is back to reality this week. You probably feel that chilly breeze kicking up behind the front, and that is a sign that the weather is changing. There are still a few light and lingering rain showers, but the steadiest showers and thunderstorms have all moved off to our east. Seeing some light and spotty shower activity across the Toledo metro, and these showers will dissipate this evening. Looking to the east of Toledo, though, the steadier rain and thunder, that is all pushing off into Pennsylvania, and that is well out of reach as it moves from Cleveland to Erie, PA. There are no worries of any thunderstorms for the rest of your evening, and that cold front is now sliding off towards the Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York tri-state area. Here's that cold front on our temperature map, hanging on to near 70 degree weather in Pittsburgh. Toledo's down to the 50s, and north and west, we have fallen to the 40s with a few 30s on the board. That cold front is going to mean some significant changes in the temperature department. We have fallen almost 30 full degrees in the last 24 hours, indicative of just how strong this cold front is. And locations to the west, like Chicago, have fallen a whopping 40 degrees, which goes to show the chilly April air that you're going to feel on Monday. In addition to the harsh, harsh west wind and highs in the 40s, we're going to experience some rain and snow showers as well. After this summery week of weather, it's going to be a bit of a rude awakening. Let's break down the hour by hour forecast rest of the evening. Other than a little bit of drizzle, we are going to be dry as temperatures drop and a cold wind sets up. Looking ahead towards your Monday morning, you'll notice a little bit of blue and green on the map. We haven't seen that combination in a while. Rain and snow showers and that wind out of the west is going to feel harsh for your Monday. Looking towards Monday afternoon, on and off flurries and sprinkles will be possible. No accumulation or travel impacts, but still a reminder that April can be a wild card weather-wise. Planning out your day, if you're heading into work tomorrow morning, it's going to be in the upper 30s with a cold wind. Into the afternoon, the occasional rain and snow shower. Highs top out in the mid 40s. Dinner time plans will be in the lower 40s with a little bit of drizzle lingering. Monday is going to be a very cold day. Rain and snow showers. Highs in the 40s. But the feels like is going to be even colder than that. That's because of the wind. 35 mile an hour gusts out of the west are possible, and that'll make it feel a little bit more like the 30s. Here's a look ahead to those temperatures. We're going to be in the 30s to start off your Monday, and due to some of these chilly overnight lows, there is the potential for some patchy frost. Even though 30s aren't generally enough to cause widespread issues, if you have any sensitive outdoor flowers, perhaps consider covering them up. Into Monday afternoon, high temperatures struggling to even reach the mid 40s. 40s. It is going to be downright cold and windy for your Monday. Next couple of days, a rain snow mix with a cold wind. Tuesday is still going to be breezy and chilly, but at least dry. Wednesday morning will start off frosty. However, by the afternoon, temperatures rebounding nicely to the 60s. And Thursday, that'll be the choice day of the week with temps up in the 70s and the chance for rain showers late in the day. Once again, there is the potential for patchy frost both Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Thursday should be a nice day with temps in the 70s. Rain showers ahead towards next weekend, and we close off the weekend with a nice day Sunday. Partly sunny skies expected as temperatures bounce back to the 60s. Stay tuned to the WTOL 11 weather team for the latest forecast.